should you buy at today's rates? This is very important topics. I'm recording this video at the end of October and mortgage interest rate pretty much double with the last six months and today over 7%. It brings lots of fear for lots of buyers and lots of questions. Should we buy right now or should we wait? I hope this episode is going to help you to understand the process and answer a lot of your questions. My name is Oleg. I'm a licensed broker with Vulnerable Requirements. And let's dive in together to this difficult buyer's situation. Regardless from what media saying about market and a lot of negative news, many people continue to dream. Many people go into move schools, specifically move for the jobs. That's why we have a lot of people coming from different states like California, Colorado to Washington state to live because they have reasons for that. And those people are going to be buy real estate. If you're thinking to buy a home and just keep it for a couple of years and flip, or if you're a flipper and just want to buy and sell right away, today is a bad time to do that. So today is a bad market to flip homes. Today is a bad market even to buy a property for keep it for one year or two years. But to be secure, to have, to have peace in mind, you should buy property with mind to live there from six to 10 years minimum. All right. If you decide not to rent property but decide to buy a home, you need to understand benefits. And one of the first simple benefits will be you can write off property taxes like up to $10,000 in property taxes if you own real estate every single year. This is a big chunk of money which is not available for people who are renting. They cannot do that. A second benefit will be you can write off another big chunk of money, parts of your mortgage interest payment. Majority of your mortgage payment for the house is going to be interest payment for the house. First 15 years. And majority of this payment, you're going to have a chance to write off end of the year every single year. And this is going to be another big chunk of money as well. Also, when you purchase real estate, you have chance to write off part of your closing cost, origination fee, those money your lender charge for, you can write off end of the year on the taxes. And lastly, if you're an investor and decide to invest, you can write off everything I just mentioned. And on top of that, you can depreciate property for 27 and a half year. For example, if you purchase property for $1 million, you can depreciate $36,000 every year until you depreciate full price of the home you purchased. This is amazing benefits. And if you have one or two or three properties like that, imagine you can depreciate big chunk of money and you can depreciate property. And at the same time, your house is going to be appreciated. This is like really great benefits, not available in any other investment assets. Now we highlight the benefits on real estate. And again, those people who are renting property that doesn't have those benefits, they cannot use those benefits in everyday life. I don't even mention about those personal hard feelings owning the property. When your kids grow, when you feel like you're coming home every day from the work, when you can improve your property, when you can see like where your trees is grow and no one, no one can increase your rent every single year because mortgage payments are secure for 30 years and only what can change your property taxes and, and insurance. But mortgage payments pretty much if you fix for 30 years mortgage rate, it's a fix for 30 years. Comparable to people who are renting right now, the mortgage rent can increase and in general increasing between 5 to 15 percent every single year. It's a huge increase for those people and a lot of unsecurity for those people who's renting. So a lot of benefits on real estate. And when you guys understand that, let's move on to next topic. Now, my friends, you're understanding benefits and you was on the fence, for example, and you're thinking, okay, Oracle, all right, you're right. We should buy 20 years ago, but now we can do that. Now we can buy property. But today's mortgage interest rate very high. How we can do that? All right, guys, for you guys, my friends, who decide to actually buy a property, first advice, be educated buyer. I can open for you guys very big secret. It's a very big secret. A lot of programs available from the lenders today wasn't available six months ago. 2-1 buy down, 
to buy down mortgage interest rate, two, three, four buy down, one, one buy down. It's a lot of different programs available when you actually can buy a property with reduced mortgage interest rate and reduced payment for the house. Your first years can be about 5% mortgage interest rate, even if today 7% on the market. Second year will be about 6% and third will be today's rate. But you will always thinking, I probably gonna be refinanced and soon this market will change. I will just refinance and get back to the normal payments. And this is really a possibility for many of you guys. I'll put link for you guys below. Who knew a lot of companies like hundreds of different institutions, state companies, organizations will have a lot of funds for buyers available for down payment. Uh, the, those programs specifically designed for buyers who want to buy a property, don't have money to buy a property, they will give you money to buy a property. And some institutions allow to give you between $2,000 to $100,000. You just have to simply go to the link below and see if you qualified and what programs will be available for you. We'll put a screenshot right now for you guys. You can see like amount of money available. This amount of money wasn't available a year ago. Today's market changed, mortgage interest changed, and with that guys, lending institution and banks change as well to continue to be in business and provide mortgages and secure mortgages for the clients. Second thing what you should do if you decide to buy a house, get pre-approved. That's really important process. Get to know what you actually can afford to buy specifically with your situation. Ask recommendation from your friends. I'm sure a lot of your friends know a lot of different lenders and a lot of good lenders on the market. You guys can get those contacts and call those people and see what kind of programs they do have available for you. And lastly, you can always ask me for recommendation. I have numbers of great lenders who work in Washington state, can help you to achieve your dreams and get best possible rate on the market today for your home. All right, now you pre-approved, you got pre-approval letter and you start shopping for the property. You call me and we're gonna have like one hour consultation, like one-on-one, -on -one, depends on your situations. What you looking for before we start that, we need to understand uh, in what kind of situation sellers right now. I'll show you the slide on the screen, percentage of change in home prices from 1991. And you guys can see in Washington state, home prices change for 481%. What that means? That means a lot of sellers sitting on a huge equity in the properties. Those people who bought properties 20 years ago for $200,000, they have, a, they have like millions of dollars equity in their home right now. And they not really rush to sell homes, specifically with when market is down. Another uh, thing to consideration uh, to buy on today's market, we move into the very slow season. November, December is the holiday season and not many sellers leasing properties right now. And we're not gonna have a lot of choices. Like we have those choices in the springtime and specifically and especially in the summertime. You guys can see with me on the screen, month over month inventory. In Washington state, inventory change reduced for 2.71%. We have more inventory than we had inventory six months ago. Six months ago, we have beating wars. People put like 100, 200,000 over asking price, removing all contingency. A lot of people shining the cash to buy homes. And that time was very bloody fights. I remember three homes in Bellevue, Washington, when people put $1 million on asking price just to overbeat other buyers. $1 million. It's a very unbelievable number. But those times is past. Now we have normal market, balanced market in the majority of all areas. But still in Washington state, we months over months, we have less inventory than we have last month because we move into slow season market. And if you guys are in the market with me, you need to understand that we're not gonna have a lot of choices. If we have to work very careful to select your house with inventory available on the market today. And if your lender give you pre-approval for less than you expected, 
adjust your dreams to your possibilities. This is very important. Even if you're buying condominium right now, townhouse in today's market, in good location, in good schools, those properties are going to increase in the price in the future, as well as the houses and any other properties, specifically if they're more affordable and fits your needs. And if you cannot find it, you can always expand your search. Look in different neighborhoods, look in different communities. But most important, if you look in different communities, it's the schools. Uh, schools are very, very important for resale. And please try to find the best possible schools in different communities, okay? But schools are very important to buy properties in a good school district. Last very important advice for you guys will be if you're planning to buy property, execute your plan. Execute your plan to very details like what you want to do, where you want to live, which property you want to buy, when you want to buy. It don't have to be today or don't have to be tomorrow. It's going to be like six months from now or a year from now or maybe a couple years from now. You still have to have your plan. You still have to understand your option. You still have to understand what amount of money you pre-approved for, how much you can spend available for your down payment. And those resources will be helpful for you to make decisions when time is right to buy real estate in Washington state. And I hope you will win with that. And with that guys, thank you so much to be with me today. If you like this episode and like information I provided to you for you guys today, please smash like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future episodes. I'm trying to bring for you guys some positivity comparable to those other negative videos about market crash and uh, we're going to doomsday. This video is just made for bait and clicks. But for you guys, if you plan your future, if you're thinking what to do next, you should always invest thinking what to do with your money, what to buy and when to buy when you're ready. That guys, thank you so much to be with me in this short episode. Until next time.